Hello you guys, in this video I would like to show you guys how you can play around with the NPC in Far Cry 5 Arcade Map Editor with the use of control zones and animation points. There are three different control zones for the NPC, Defend, Defend Cautious and Move and Defend. Let's spawn them and place an AI in each control zone. It's important to link the NPC to the correct control zone and we do this by going into the object options and select control zone. There will be a black line going from the NPC to the linked zone as you can see here. Now I must be honest and say that I don't notice much difference between the control zones besides the defend cautious one. They all seems to move the same distances no matter the size of the control zone. But at least they are contained within the control zone and they won't chase me outside of their control zone. Here's a cool trick that you can implement in your map. Spawn a vehicle outside of the map and place some AI next to them. Then link them to a control zone inside the map. Now you will have a cool driving sequence in the beginning of the match. What's funny is that the AI will ignore the road path and they will just figure out their own way to the destination. It's not well demonstrated here, but you can play around with this and you'll notice they will drive some very crazy, they will take some really crazy pathways. It is quite enjoyable to watch. It also works with helicopters. I have not tried all the vehicles in the game sadly, but I believe all of them works besides the planes. Because I have not managed to get a single AI into a plane. But as you can see now, the helicopter is trying to land, but it's struggling and it can't do it. To fix this, we must make the control zone much, much larger. I do encourage you guys to play around with the size of the control zone in your map. But once it's bigger, they will land no problem. When it comes to animals, everything should be exactly the same. But what's cool about animals is that you can have them respawn instantly. Let's place this bear high in the air to demonstrate. When it spawns for the first time it will be on the ground so I have to kill it first. And now we officially have raining bears. Please drop a like for raining bears. Here's another cool trick you can do. Take the control zone outside of your map inside some fire. Spawn in an animal, let's say a sheep, and have it on always respawn. Now imagine that the sheep is now on the other side of the map. And now the sheep will run into the fire and die, then respawn and do the same thing again and again and again. So if you wanted to have wildlife that runs through the map in a loop, this is, way, this is the way to do it. Instead of fire, I tried doing the same method but having a pit that the sheep will fall into. Sadly the sheep is too smart here and won't jump into the pit, so that won't work. But let's help him anyway. Finally we have animation points. These are very easy to use. Let's say you want a bear to do something, you, you just need to go into the bear section and pick one of the available animation points. Change the settings to what you prefer and then just place it close to the bear. Same goes for humans too, but some of them are more advanced than others, like the one I picked here. So here you must take your time and place it where you believe it's best. And that, that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you found this video somewhat helpful. And I also hope to see you guys back in the next video.